Hey, do nuts. I don't have any pre intro jokes for you this time around. Instead, I have only this shirt. Now I know what you're thinking, and the answer is yes. A girl's double extra large is still too small for me. But don't question the shirt. Simply cherish it, enjoy it, and spend the rest of the video trying to forget what I'm wearing. I know I will. This shirt was given to me by lifelong friend and two-year-long do-nut Greg Vogel, pictured here, but behind my face. There. Greg is also the creator of the Weirded Out sign, and has brought us such classics as Spring Break! and What a handsome young man! Speaking of school, because I'm sure we were just doing that, as many of you know, I'm in my first semester of law school. And the time has come for me to begin focusing on finals. Now, if you're a student like me, you may be looking over your notes for the semester and thinking, Wow, the most interesting part about this class is... But studying rule number one says you can't give up so easily. For example, my professors would say, Get off YouTube! You should be studying! Clean your room! Walk the dogs! Ten o'clock and two o'clock! To which I respond, Why are you reminding me of my non-academic responsibilities? Why are you halfway dressed like a man and yet you sound like Wallowitz's mother? And rule number one, professor, I'm not giving up on this YouTube video to study. <laughs> Priorities, people. Come on. Rule number two, set a concise schedule. Now, it should be a realistic schedule, one you can actually follow, so make sure you balance work and play. And perfect. I believe I can stick to that. Rule three, actually stick to your schedule. Study break, study break. It doesn't have to be to the tune of Spider-Man, but it helps. Rule number four, flash cards? Question mark? I've never found flash cards to be helpful, but many others still recommend them, so maybe try that. Flash card, flash card, flash card, hello. Rule number five, study with a group or with a partner. You might each benefit from an outside perspective. Okay, do you even remotely understand the reading for property law? What reading for property law? Property who? Study break. Am I supposed to be doing something? Yeah, not getting your ass kicked so bad. Uh, <laughs> We have fun. Rule number six, reward systems. You should create an incentive as a means of motivation. Like if you get to a certain point in the reading, you reward yourself with a candy bar or ice cream or a Ferrari or something. I don't know what you kids are into these days. Chapter one, the study break. Guys, the real takeaway here is, Hey, listen. Don't listen to me. At this point in the semester, you know your strengths and your weaknesses. Just do the very best you can. Don't freak out. And certainly don't waste any more time watching my crappy videos. Remember, I, I said don't listen to me, so nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Thanks as always just for watching. If you didn't like this video, here's a picture of my law school. It doesn't look like a prison from the outside, but then you, you walk in and that's where they get ya. Study break. Studying makes my stomach ache. I'm a gird, my hair is gird. I'm not in the mood to think. But <laughs> I'll let you buy me a drink. Spring break. Look out, it's time for a study break. What a handsome young man.